Hey guys. So, I have been on a crusade this year to essentially find a better battery. So, you guys that have been watching me for any amount of time know that I have been a CNHL follower, CNHL believer from pretty much the time that I got into quads until very recently. And I stumbled across a new brand and decided to, you know, take a look at what else was out there, especially after what I found. So, long and short is, I want to share with you the results, um, and not just the results, but the journey of me getting to that place. So, what you're going to see here, now, I'm including five batteries. Something to be understood is, I was given all of these batteries. I did not buy any of them. Okay? Now, three of the batteries are really the main focus of this video. However, I included an additional two. Now, the three batteries that are really the main focus of this are all budget batteries. And so we have CNHL, Ovonic, and Goldbat. Now, I've also included a Scorpion Power battery and a Lumineer battery because, again, I was given them, they didn't cost me anything, and what better reason to try to blow up a battery than the fact that it was free? Take a look at these segments. Now, the first couple, they're gonna take a little longer to get through, because what I wanted to do was run the batteries, and then, you know, with full audio, and let you just hear, one battery at a time, what you could hear. Now, it's just there for sound, for audio. Now, during these runs, my point was to get in the air, get to 100% throttle, and then hold it for like half the battery, let off, let it recover, and then go on for the remainder of the battery at 100% again. So the first five segments are each of the batteries running solo so that you can hear how they're operating, and then I try to pair up to the best of my abilities because it wasn't all the same exact duration, but I, I attempted. But it, it's well enough that you can really see how the batteries are running side by side. So I ran four of them side by side, and then I took the best battery and put it up against the one remaining battery. Turns out that the last two were actually battery performers number one and two for the price. Go ahead and give these a watch, and then we'll discuss what you're seeing afterwards.
Now what I really want you to watch here is the lower right of each square. As we know, these motors spin in a speed proportional to the amount of volts being supplied. What that means is that the battery that sags the least is going to run the fastest. And as you can see, some of these batteries are not holding up as well as others. Even after a short break here, and going back to 100% for the remainder of the battery, you can see that they perform pretty similarly, similarly for the second half as they do for the first half, and again, some perform better than others. They're all close, but better is better. So now we go on to the best of those, which was the Ovonic, and since we had the gold bat sitting around, and we hadn't had a chance to put that up on screen, we're running that now. As you can see, the Ovonic beat out the majority of the time the gold bat battery. It maintained a higher voltage, um, you know, producing less sag. So you know less sag is more kV being put out, which is more speed. And even though we're only talking, you know, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 volts, an edge is an edge, right? So by now, you should have seen all of the runs of the batteries. And let's talk about the first two that really were not intended to be a part of the run, and that's the Lumineer and the Scorpion. Both of those are $30 to $35 batteries. Now, they're both 4S. One is a 1375C, the other is a 1595C. The Scorpion battery is very attractive for its size and weight, but as you can see, it does not perform well especially for a $35 battery. Next, we've got the Lumineer. Now, the Lumineer performed okay, considering that because of the larger cells, it is actually better equipped to handle that constant high output. However, it was definitely not a top performer, and for $35, I don't think it's what any of us are looking for either. Something you couldn't see, and I didn't have this camera running while I was doing it, is that that battery puffed. It was making a slight, I'm telling you, I think I heard a slight sizzle. Nothing ever punctured, I didn't see anything venting, but I immediately took that battery off the quad, threw it in the yard, and just let it sit there. Now, right now, there's no puff on that battery. But I'm telling you, when it came down, it was a big and puffy. So it can't fool me. I already know something's not right. Last, the three budget batteries, the CNHL, the Ovonic, and the Gold Bat. Now, the CNHL does not perform bad for what it is, but it's larger and it weighs more, which means that it's not as positionable and that it's going to obviously add weight to the quad and make it either fly less time, be a little bit less maneuverable, all the little things that are tied to weight. Which leaves the Ovonic and the Gold Bat. Compared to the CNHL, both of those batteries sagged less in both segments than the CNHL. They are smaller, they are lighter, and so you put all that together with the fact that they are also the cheapest batteries. The Ovonic can be had typically for under $16 shipped off Amazon Prime, $15 and 60 some cents typically. The Gold Bat comes to over $16 per battery, but we're so close there and we're so far in that budget category that it really doesn't matter much. So Ovonic, I'm hanging with you. I am buying some more batteries and you are running my racing season this year. For you guys, I thought since I was doing it anyway that there's value in you being able to see this as well, so make of it what you will. Remember to fly safe, be smart, and happy crashing.